All right, guys, so here's the deal. I upgraded my engine, so this is a 408 cleaver, some of you know. And I also have a supercharger on here that gives me a few pounds of boost. I've upgraded my fuel system. I have dual in-tank pumps, and I've also upgraded my fuel lines all the way from back to front with some stainless steel half-inch lines. So what I want to make sure of is that I have enough fuel when I need it, but I don't want to run both pumps at the same time. So for a while, I was running both of my pumps. I had twin 340s in the tank, and I was running them both at the same time, all the time, regardless. So whenever the ECU called for fuel or for a fuel pump to be on, it was just running both of them, which was unnecessary because then I was getting a lot of fuel returning to the tank. So what I did was I switched to one pump, runs all the time, and then when... Um, when my boost kicks in or when my air fuel ratio um, gets, uh, what was it, gets lower than 14, I think, or 13, uh, then I turn on the second pump. So I'm going to walk you through how I did that and show you how it's working. You'll probably be able to hear it in the video. So. Swapped to an aftermarket ECU from Stinger Performance. So in here, let's see if I can get this one-handed. So my ECU, you can see there, Stinger Performance. Great stuff, by the way. Um, and they give you a whole bunch of write-ups, documentation. So what I did, and it's on pin 55, so They'll give you all the, the wiring diagrams and everything that you need to make this work. But you come out on one of the pins that's specified, and mine is, so this blue wire here goes to pin 55. I had to repin it. I've actually got a video for repinning uh, a Ford connector. So uh, I'll put a link up here somewhere. Um, check that out if you don't know how to do it. So I had to repin mine because it was not from a Thunderbird, and that's the factory harness that they use. So what I did was, there's a factory wire for your fuel pump, and that goes to the, the fuel pump relay up there. I needed a way to trigger a second fuel pump relay, so that's why I used this one. This output, you can actually um, configure when it comes on, so I will show you that. So this is gonna give a ground signal when I want the secondary pump to turn on. Let's go take a look. So I've got my battery mounted in the trunk. And I used a different battery mount kit than what you would normally find because I liked it. And you can see it's out of the way. So mine, if I can get this T-top holder down, it's right underneath the carpet here. So there's my battery. There you go. So you can see that normally your fuel door release would be connected right here. Mine is gone. And I am using, get the camera right, there we go. So this connector was originally for the, the fuel door release. You can see that it was normally for the fuel door release. So what I did was used the, uh, the white wire and I switched it at the ECU, so that gives it a ground to ground this relay. So now I've got one relay for my primary pump and one for the secondary. And the secondary is controlled, like I said, so uh, I've got mine controlled off the air fuel ratio, but you can control it off of boost or whatever parameter you want to in the ECU. So that turns on my secondary pump. Now, let's go into the car. And I will show you how I configured that. So this is Tuner Studios. Let's go online with the car. All right, so within Tuner Studios, there's a lot of functionality that you can, uh, that you can control. So you can go up to 
boost and advanced and programmable on off outputs. When that pulls up, get you a little bit closer here. So with that, you can see, you can go through these different outputs. We've got attack output, ALED, WLED, and you can adjust when these turn on. So this is actually for a factory fan setting. The ALED is for a factory fan on like a Thunderbird. And normally you control it based off of your coolant temperature or whatever you want to. So for mine, this output is turned on if my air fuel ratio is less than 13.7 and my RPMs are greater than 3,500. So basically if I'm getting on it, that secondary fuel pump will kick in because anywhere on my air fuel ratio table will go less than 13.7 above 3,500 RPM. Close and I'll show you guys that here. So we've got a table. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. So here is my air fuel ratio table. So it's looking at this. So wherever it is, you can see these yellow squares right here indicate that that's where it's at right now. So we would go to, here's 3,800 RPM. So it's gonna be right in this area here. So if I am in this area or above and my um, AFR is less than 137, so you go right on that line there or pretty much anywhere right there. Then I'm gonna turn that secondary pump on. And I'll show you on some of these settings here, you can actually adjust. So you can choose any sort of output you want. You can choose your, your AFR target. I mean, there's a ton of different things in here. Your boost target. So I could just turn it on if, I, if I've got boost, but I know that when I'm getting on it up in the higher RPM, I want that other pump to turn on anyway. So you can see there's a whole bunch of other ways that you can program that output to turn on. You can turn on your, your math load, your volts, your map sensor, all kinds of goodies here. You can also, I'm gonna show you how to test this. So I'll show you guys that mine does work. Oh, sorry, there it is. So we go over here, CAN bus test modes. So we're gonna test our output IO. So we can enable test mode here. Let me get you guys closer again so you can see. You, uh, you'll you be able to hear my second fuel pump kick on. So from here, we'll go to enable test mode. You can see all these buttons light up. So my other fuel pump has to be running, right? So here's my primary. And that one's on. Now it's off. There's on. Off. Now what we're going to do is a LED is my secondary pump, right? So right now, you turn that on, you get nothing. So you have to have the primary fuel pump on. Then we can turn this on as well. You can hear that other fuel pump kick on. You can also see my fuel pressure gauge. That's in the right there, fuel pressure. So there's one pump off, one fuel pump, second fuel pump. There we go. Like I said, you can use that output for anything. It doesn't have to be a fuel pump. You can use it to turn a fan on or I mean, it, there's a, a number of ways that you can use that. The other cool thing is that you can use, so there's some analog outputs on these that you can use to drive a, uh, a boost controller as well. So uh, I can't remember which one it was. I have a write-up that I saved that explains it, but yeah, you can do anything with this. I mean, you, the possibilities are endless. And mine, so mine's a, a version 1.4 which for anybody who is familiar with the Stinger ECUs, they'll know that it's an older, uh, mine is probably four or five years old, I think, actually, if not more. Um, I'm trying to think now, but yeah, it's a, it's an older version. Now they've got the Pimp uh, XS, 
and they've got some other really awesome features and they've upgraded even farther but um, great system great product and there's a, a lot of functionality you can do with it so I have another video about making a uh, dual in tank pump uh, hat basically and I'll put a I'll put a link up here for you guys to check that out too so um, anyways guys thanks for watching I appreciate it have a good one and we will see you next time